Who am I gonna go fishing with now? We must have turned hundreds of these boys into men. I think Tooele High School's gonna miss you just as much as you'll miss it. <laughs> you would have thought after all these years, your someone would have showed up to say goodbye. They're all long gone, or at least for the summer. But you still got me, Coach. Yes, I do. We'll be fine. We got a long life ahead of us. Now let me help you carry your things. I just, just one more minute. How many of these trophies did you help put in here? Oh, I lost count years ago. What are we gonna do tonight? What do you mean? I need to go home and start dinner. I gotta say at least one goodbye before I go. There's nobody here. <laughs> this is it. Jensen is just one pitch away from coaching the state Jensen is so close to his first state title as coach of the Tooele Buffaloes. He's got the call he wants. This could go extra innings, or they could get a walk-off win right here. The wind-up. The signals are in. The pitch. Here comes the pitch. Strike three. It's a deep shot to we center. We have Sacrifice our new state fly. champions. Malik attacks up the third. The Tooele Buffaloes are your new state Buffaloes baseball win. champions. Buffaloes win. I'm going to miss you. Keep these boys in line. Good luck next year. What am I gonna do now that it's over? Oh, I'm sure I can come up with something to keep you entertained. It's been a while since I've seen that picture on the mound. <laughs> I could always count on my favorite cheerleader. And ma'am, I think you deserve a night off. And I happen to know a nice little Italian bistro that's perfect for dinner with a young beauty like you. Oh, well, that sounds just lovely, young man. But first, I must get out of this cheerleading outfit and put on something a little more elegant. Oh, say no more. Car. You ain't seen nothing yet, darling. Look at these skater punks wasting all their time. These kids need love, too. They're not lucky enough to have a coach like you. making imaginary pitches, and then he was making the calls that got you the state championships. <laughs> I wish I was there to dump the cooler on you again this time, Coach. Not too late to do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go 
get the vacuum. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'll help you clean it up later. Just enjoy the party. Okay, where's my cake? <laughs> hey, it's good to see you. I didn't think anybody cared. Thanks. No, don't thank me. This was all Mom's idea. <laughs> I should have known. They're probably here for her more than me. You know, now that I'm retired, I'm going to have a lot more time to go fishing. Been a while since you went along. Yeah. How long has it been? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so old, I can't remember the last time you went fishing with the Rat Pack. Yeah, that's because I was never invited. At least not until they all died or retired away to Florida. Thanks for the cake. That's the, and that's the parachute atoms, the butterfly, the bread and butter of fly fishing for new fishermen, something like that. And this is the most essential fly for new fly fishermen, but the, I can't do it any better. There you have it, the most essential fly for trout fishing, the parachute atoms. I'm Coach Jensen, and next time we'll continue the basics on fishing. And until then, keep on fishing. I can do better. This is the Parachute Adams, the bread and butter for new fishermen. I'm Coach Jensen, and next time... Dinner's getting cold, dear. Oh, snap, Slider. We're late, and I'm not one to miss a meal. Doesn't look like you are either. Coming! Accepting the award for the most wonderful, marvelous, fantastic one in a million wife. Janet Jensen. <laughs> oh! And she's speechless, folks. Now don't overdo. I got your favorite cake. Oh, I'm so sorry I lost complete track of time on the chain. First. Alaska? <laughs> oh, our first cruise ever. A whining and dining on the ocean. Mm -hmm. Oh. And dancing in the moonlight. And walking on the deck, holding hands at sunset. <laughs> <laughs> and having a marvelous time. And enjoying each other's company. And then while you are on your fishing expedition, I'll be in the spa. Fishing too? <laughs> are you kidding me? When do we leave? You know those socks you've been missing? Uh, yeah. They're in your suitcase. We fly out tomorrow when we leave port the next day. We're on a cruise in two days? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really am the king of the world. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and you're my queen. It's beautiful. Now let's eat before the food gets any colder. Should have had Julie drive. We're gonna be late. Julie couldn't make it. We'll be fine. Do you have everything? Uh, my lucky fishing hat. <laughs> oh, can't go without that. No, 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 no. Say something. 
What happened? Come on, talk to me. It's my mom. She's unconscious. What happened? Forget it. We're bringing her in. We don't have time to wait around for an ambulance. Let's go. Up, up. Mom, you're gonna be fine. Okay. Coach, you know how much we love you. Janet was right there with us. She was a second mom to all of us. I think that's easy enough to say. We love you. Games would never be the same without her cookies. If there's anything I can do, just give me a call. She made me feel like she was my biggest fan. Me too, she is. Me too. So sorry, Coach. What can I do to help, Coach? <laughs> just being here is enough. Thanks for coming. See you at the house. channels and nothing to watch. Got any ideas? Uh, map sounds good to me too. <sighs> Thought you were gonna empty this yesterday. I can't load it if you don't empty it. Cause I don't feel like it. I've got editing that I need to do. Dinner's getting cold, dear. <sighs> it's you, me, and the weeds, huh? Weeds win again. Oh, for 13 at bats. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Did you know over a thousand pets across the country will be put down today? Your donation can help save them. All this time and all I get are calls from a computer. Ah, oh, forget it. Ladies, we're... oh, just just a moment. Um, Dad, is something wrong? Uh, no, I, I'm fine. I just uh, just uh, hadn't heard from you since the funeral. Just wanted to check in. I know. Oh, it's it's just been so busy. I'll call you later. I'm about to go on. Oh, oh I'm so, so sorry, Julie. Yeah, yeah, sweetie. I just I just uh... hadn't heard from you in a while. And just wanted to say hi and uh, want to invite all of you over for Sunday dinner. Maybe. Okay. I, got, I gotta go. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now here she is, Julie Stevens. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. I'm here. Hey, 
dude? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just uh, hadn't heard from you in a few weeks, and I just... Just want to check in. Right. Um, I'm at work. Oh, this late? Boy, they must really need you. You're putting in a lot of overtime. No, I told you I got a second job, remember? Do you need something? Uh, um, no, I just uh, just wanted to say hello and uh, invite all of you over for uh, Sunday dinner. I, you know, may, I thought maybe we could all go to church together and then come back to the house for a big barbecue. After, but, but whatever time works for you. It'll be a lot of fun for the kids. Sound good? Maybe. Let me check with Liz. I, I, I gotta get going. I'll get back with you, okay? I gotta go. Well, maybe it's better than no, right? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, sorry, did I wake you? Oh, no, no. I... I've been awake for hours. Okay. Hey, I'm running into work real quick. I talked with Liz. We'll be at your place Sunday for church and the cookout. Oh, wonderful. I'll get some steaks for the grill. Be sure and come hungry. Yep. OK, I got to go. Busy day. <laughs> OK, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. <laughs> Love you, son. Sure. See you later. <laughs> you were all pessimistic. <laughs> come on, we. This is gonna be a great day. Hello? Hey, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to church. Oh, what do you mean? What's going on? Uh, my neighbor just called their basement's been flooding. Apparently the hose burst or something. It's a mess. I'm gonna see what I can do to help. Oh, boy. Well, well how long is that gonna take? I don't know, a few hours. It seems pretty bad. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to the dinner either. Well, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. I understand. All right. I'll call you back later. Right. Thanks. It's amazing how fast things can change around here. Hey, I said I'd call you back. Uh, what time are you going to be here? I, I need to know so I can put the steaks on. I'm, I'm kind of stuck. It's Drew. He's got no family around here and a swimming pool in his basement. Yeah, but that was this morning. Are you still there? Well, yeah, we got all the furniture out, but half the water. How long is that going to take? I got my Texas rub on a steak just for you. Uh, how about 6 o'clock? Uh, I can't make any promises. I'll, I'll try. But... It'll be great to see you and the kids. I know. I got to see this through. I'll call you back later, OK? Uh, well, we'll hurry up and get out of the pickle. OK, all right. I got to go. See ya. Bye, son. Dude, you okay? Yeah. What's up, Scab? Hey, bro. 
You need to like balance on your one leg. Your leg is straight. You need to bend it like this. Do it. Yeah, you got it. Now, when you go to push with your other leg, you need to bend your balance like even more, like this. Put all your weight on your balance leg. Do not put any weight on your push leg. Do it. Yeah, there you go. It's harder than it looks. No, nah, it just takes practice. Skid around town instead of this driveway, and then you'll get like a million reps in. Then it'll just be like walking. You won't even have to think about it. Uh, what's your name? I'm RJ. I've seen you at school. You're Scab, right? The one and only. Race to the skate park. Hey, what are you doing with those guys? Scab just stopped to help me learn. I don't want you hanging around them. They're a bad influence, OK? They seem OK to me. No, they're not. When I got you that skateboard, you promised me you wouldn't go hanging around the skate park. Stay in the driveway, OK? I know. Can we go to Grandpa's house now? No, I'm only here for a few minutes to pick up some tools. Can I help? It's a mess over there. It's not a place for kids. I'm not a kid anymore. These kids of yours sure are a pain. I mean ours. <sighs> Seems like since you're gone, nobody cares about me. I know, I know. I'll wait and see. All right, buddy, no leftovers tonight. Dog treats will have to do. Because I'm not hungry anymore. I'm going to bed. Hey, Mom, I'm going to head to Russell's house to play some video games. OK, you'll be home by 10, right? 10? Mom, it's not like we're in school right now. Parents still have to work even when school's out. 11 at the latest. OK, fine. Have fun. See you at 11. was reported missing by his family. Worried about early signs of Alzheimer's, they searched the hiking trail where he wandered off. Fortunately, this story has a happy ending. As you can see, Mr. Sullivan is happy, healthy, and surrounded by his loving family. Whatever it takes, right? This is just between you and me. She'll think I'm crazy. Just have to figure out how to get lost. RJ? Kids need love too. They're not lucky enough to have a coach like you. But I don't know anything about skateboarding. But I do know how to shoot videos. Oh crap. Dude, you okay? Yeah. M my dad just doesn't want me to be here. The guy that just showed up, it's my grandpa. OK, he looks pretty chill. Well, he is. But if he tells my dad that I was here, I'm grounded for life. I'm sorry. Hey, guys, that's hard. 
hard as it looks. I certainly wouldn't try it at your age, mister. <laughs> but the real hard part is getting it just right on video for the tube. Oh, I know what you mean. I had a lot of trouble getting my videos just right, but now I got a whole bunch of subscribers. You're on YouTube? Man, you must be the oldest YouTuber ever. How many subs do you have? Oh, I don't have any substitutes. I do it all myself. I shoot it, I edit, I star it. All me, no substitutes. No substitutes. <laughs> Probably the same amount of subscribers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty small time. I just have, a, last time I checked, about 300, 1,000. You should film Jake. I have no idea how to make this look good. OK, where do you want to shoot from? Why don't I lay down over there and I shoot you guys looking up as you go by? What do you think? OK, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Phone flip, though. That's dope. Dope? What's the matter? Don't you like it? No, too. Dope is good. Cool. Awesome. Swell. <laughs> what? I heard it on this old black and white TV show. <laughs> it's only as dope as you skaters. Man, that phone flip, though. I'd be too afraid to drop it. Oh, that's nothing like a line drive coming at you on the pictures now. Yeah, for sure. I'm Mike. This is Jake. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mike. Jake. I'm RJ's grandfather. He's around here somewhere. <gasps> I'm dead. Sorry, bro. Good luck. This video is sick. Can we make more? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, I'll be back. If you guys promise to work hard, keep shredding, and I'll come back and make more videos for you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What a cool guy. I didn't know you were a skater. Well, I'm just learning. Am I in trouble? Um, I don't think so. Why? My dad thinks these guys are a bad influence. If he finds out that I'm here, I'm clapped. Really? I. Your dad's changed a lot over the years. But then I guess we all have. Your secret's safe with me. Sweet! I gotta run an errand. I'll be back and shoot another day, all right? Yo, see you, Gramp. Excuse me, I I'm a little bit lost. How can I help you? This is so embarrassing. I I've gotten all turned around. Well, the main road is behind you. Where are you trying to go? Home. OK, give me your address, and I'll help you figure it out. Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, my wife knew her home address and she passed away. I, I, I'm not sure. I, uh, I'm just, uh, I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. It's OK. Don't worry. I'm just going to make a quick call to someone who can help you. Coach, having trouble? <laughs> hey, Mitch, great to see you. Yeah, I've gotten all turned around here, and I can't seem to figure out how to get home. Uh, no worries, Coach. Just follow me. I'll get you home. Well, uh, well thanks, but but don't you want to call my Rob and Julie to just have them come meet me? Uh, no, I don't want to bother them. I'll take it from here.
Thanks. All set. Take care, coach. Hey, hey you want to come in for a donut or something? I, I thought all you guys liked donuts. Hey, Rob, it's Mitch. I just left your dad. Wait, what? Is something wrong? I don't know. He was lost and confused, so I took him home. He couldn't find his own way home? Guess not. He seems fine now, though. Thought you'd want to know. Has he been acting strange since you've seen him recently? No, not really. I haven't really noticed anything lately. Um, I'll keep an eye out for it, though. Thanks for the heads up, Mitch. I appreciate it. No problem. See you, bro. Okay. Alan Gelfand, a.k.a. Ollie. Hmm. I've always wanted to learn to surf. Hello. Hey, Rob, where's everybody else? I'm just on my way to work, and I thought I'd stop by and see if you're okay. Heard you couldn't find your way home this afternoon. What's up with that? Oh, I just got a little bit confused. You know, all these new houses and streets got a little bit turned around. Mitch helped me out, no worries. Hey, how about you, me, and RJ go fishing this weekend? Ah, uh, no, I gotta work. And you know I don't like fishing. What? Since when? Since I never learned how. Well, you all hold down the fort, all right? And I'll be back with dinner. Hey, Grandpa, can I come? Oh, uh... Not this time, buddy. It's just me and a bunch of old timers. But, but another time, just you and me, okay? Don't take it personal. He never took me with him either. This is the only chance he gets to go out with his coaches and his other friends. I know he wants to take you guys out. He's just so busy. Yeah, well, he always seemed to find time to take out the players on the team. Well, then you should have tried out for the team. You were plenty good enough if you just tried out. But you make a great sous chef. Quit wandering around if you're going to get lost. Mom's gone, so she can't fix your mistakes anymore. I gotta get to work. Thanks for coming by to visit. Oh, red, bro. Hey, Tia, look out or someone's gonna nail you. <sighs> My bad. I'll just get out of the way. Good. Eh, it's just Amy. She must think I'm a total noob. <laughs> she doesn't like any of us here. To her, we're all just a bunch of noobs. She thinks she owns this place. Well, she's hot, she shreds, and she knows it. Yeah, well, I'm not impressed. Guys, let's just get out of the way. Come on. Jake! This is the last time this is going to happen. What? I didn't do anything. Just get in the car. We'll talk at home. I shouldn't be here. No worries. You have to work your way up to the ramp. Take it slow. Step off with one foot pop it and catch it by the trucks. <laughs> Never get this. No worries. Just watch me. Step off. <laughs> wow, I 
Thanks, you did it. You're lucky, dude. Scab's a good coach. He's got skills, man. I've seen other guys take forever to do the same stuff. Well, keep up the good work, man. Okay, now you need to learn how to throw down your board. like this. Right. Okay. Now, you need to throw your board towards the ground and bend on it right as it lands. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. I'll try again. It's all good, my little Padawan. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> hey, who are you calling little? Hey, what time is it? I don't have a watch. Um, me neither, but it's five. Oh, crap, I'm screwed! What? Are you kidding? What's wrong, Mom? Nothing. Nothing, sweetie. It's just my business. I wish you didn't have a business. Sometimes I do, too but I get to help other moms run their business so they can make money for their families. Can I have a business someday? Yeah, of course, if you want. One day, you will have a wonderful business, maybe even bigger than mine. <laughs> mm. Look at this. How am I supposed to stay motivated when I see reports like this? What you're doing will make a world of difference for other women. You can't quit now. They need you. Sometimes it's just so hard to keep going. No one can do this better than you. Think of your own daughters and what they'll see from your example. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you too, Ashley. Now, go hang out with your friends. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Starting this now, boy. It's supposed to have been done this morning. I'm doing it, ain't I? You've been sloughing off, and I'm sick of it. Hanging around those good for nothing skaters instead of doing your work. I'm doing it, look. You want to stay here? You do the work I give you when I give it to you. When I give it to you. Which was this morning? Oh, okay, just, just let me go so I can do it. Don't give me none of your lip, boy. Boy. Come on, boys. You know what time it is. Grab his legs. Right there. Hey! Bring him in. Bring him in. You got a long way to go to pay off the debt your worthless father owed me when he went and died. You work for me now. You're gonna pay it off. Got that? Answer me! I got it. I got it. Good. Get in here and finish the job. No food. 
food for you tonight either. I'm sorry, Uncle Sonny. Please, I'm hungry. You want food? Work when you're supposed to. You're not going anywhere near this food. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Mmm. Checking good tonight, huh? They can tell the dog he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Do you ever think about running away? <laughs> yeah. Once when I shot my dad's windshield out with a BB gun, I put a can on the roof and tried to shoot at it. <sighs> Do you ever think about it? All the time. Really? Where would you go? You know, I've never really been anywhere but here. Sometimes I wish I could just run so I didn't have to hear my dad yell at me. Sometimes I wish I was never born. At least you got parents. My mother died when I was born and my father died in a car accident last year. A father that yells at you is better than an uncle and cousins who hate you. Trust me. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know about your parents. Why does your uncle hate you? Well, he's just always hated my dad, and now he hates me. They put me with him because he's family, but I I'd rather be in foster care instead. Check this out. Hey, you get better every time I see you. You, you aren't hanging out with that guy over there, are you? Scab? He's super cool. He's helped me out a whole lot. Really? He looks like trouble to me. I think he's got it kind of rough at his house. You haven't been going over to his house, have you? No. His mom and dad died, so he lives with his uncle and cousins. I guess they all hate each other. I'm kind of scared for him. <laughs> you, you, you know what? I don't think you ought to be here when he's Gramps! Let's, let's, let's go. Grandpa! He's my skating coach. You're not lucky enough to have a coach like you. I'm not scared of him. I'm scared by what he said. Today he says he wishes he was never born. Maybe I should go over and talk to him. Thanks, Grams. Just don't tell me said anything, okay? Scout's on her. So you're the famous scab I've been hearing about. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, wh wh why aren't you skating now? Come on, I'll shoot some video of you. Hmm? I'm too tired. I gotta go. No, no, wait, 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 don't go. I want to thank you for helping RJ. You're making this summer way more fun. Hey, do you, do you think maybe you could do a little shredding for me? I'm, I'm, Putting together this epic compilation. Come on. Oh, I need a little shredding. Can you do that for me? Go on. You're gonna show me your stuff, and I'm gonna start filming, and we'll check it out and see what you think, okay? All right. 
Show me your stuff. It's a grand slam, that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah check this Yay. out. That's oh, awesome. That's swell. <laughs> now aren't you glad you stuck around? This is uh, dope, dope on a rope. <laughs> Thanks. Dude, that's awesome. Thanks. You know, life sucks sometimes, and you strike out a lot, but you're never gonna hit that home run if you don't keep swinging. You got friends around here who care about you and will go to bat for you. Well, thanks. So, do you like the name Scab or should I call you something else? All my friends call me that, but my real name's Theodore. Well, you know, Scab's not a good thing in baseball, so how about if I call you Ted? You don't like Ted Williams? Please, no. Sooner it'll be Teddy and then Teddy Bear. I got a rep to hold up, Gramps. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to have that street cred on these rough roads to Willa, right? <laughs> no one's going to hear it from me, Theodore. Deal? Deal. What's this? Uh, why don't you consider it payment for coaching RJ? Now, you run over there and get yourself something to eat. Well, go on. I don't want to see you again until you fill her up. Thanks. And keep the change. RJ, it's your turn. Come on, let's get some video. No, thanks. How about this? You can watch, but no video, OK? Deal. But get ready. Your time's coming. Hey, RJ, you think you're ready for the kick turn on the ramp? Well, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later, okay? You guys keep up the good work. And don't go, Gramps. No. Hey, thanks for helping RJ. The better he gets, the more fun he's having. It's cool. I like to help kids get started. And keep an eye on Scab for me, too, okay? You leaving already? Yeah, I gotta go, but I'll be back. Love you, Grandpa. I love you, too, buddy. Hey, and I got a mission for you, okay? You stay real close to Scab, okay? I will. Real close. All right. Out for a walk, coach? Oh, hi, man. It's a long time no see. How you been? Not too bad. I saw you just a few days ago. You're a long way out for a walk. Where's your car? Oh, well, well I, I'm not sure. I, I parked it around here somewhere. Well, Coach, since you're heading away from town, I don't think it's going to be this way. Why don't you hop in and I'll help you out, OK? <laughs> awesome. I always wanted to ride in a police car. Up front, sirens too? Up front, yes. Sirens, no. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> Hey, how long's it been since you've been fishing? Ah, oh, it's been a while. Really? Well, there's your car, right there in the driveway. Huh. I wonder how I got there. Thanks for the ride, Mitch. <laughs> you let me know when you're ready to hit the river. Sure thing. out wandering on the country road. You could have been killed. Yeah, what the heck, dude? What were you doing out there? I just misplaced my car, and I went out to look for it, and it was a nice day for a walk, so... Misplaced your car? It's no biggie. Mitch, help me find it, and everything's OK. It's nice to see you two. You want to stay for dinner? Well, we've decided that you don't need a car anymore. 
What? You can't take my car. How am I going to go shopping or run errands? I'll be a prisoner in my own house. We don't want anything to happen to you, Dad. Things just haven't been the same since Mom died. She's not here to take care of you. <laughs> the same thing goes for you, too. What? Why, why, why don't you just sit down and want to talk about it over dinner? This is for your own good. Don't worry, Dad. You're going to make lots of new friends, right? Well, that was a swing and a miss. Well, we still got another inning. Can we go fishing with Grandpa? Hey, sweetie, what's going on? I'm just getting paperwork for the attorney. Babe, enough work. You finally got a day off. Yeah, are we ever gonna go fishing? <sighs> Look, son, I would love to go fishing with you but I was never taught how. Okay. I have to go to work now. Okay. You been hanging around that skate park? I told you those kids are no good. You stay away from there, okay? He's been using it on the driveway and the sidewalk. Right, RJ? Kids are a bad influence. All right, if I catch you over there, you're gonna be grounded for months. And wear your helmet. I don't wanna deal with you getting hurt. He will, dear. I'll remind him. Always wear your helmet, okay, RJ? <sighs> Love you. We tie flies to catch fish, but uh... What we're really doing is setting the stage for some great memories. These flies have done a lot more than catch fish. They've given me some great times with other coaches and old fishing buddies. There's one of the hundreds of boys we've taught over the years. And you really cherish those memories once those old friends are gone. Hey, Coach. Hey, Slider. Hey, D. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming by. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, Coach. How are you handling things? Doing okay. Thanks for asking. Well, I just stopped by to give you a heads up. Uh, is this about Rob? He came to my office asking how we can declare you incompetent. Incompetent? Is he serious? Yeah, he says you've been getting lost and forgetting things. I mean, he's just asking for information, so I don't think he's ready to do anything yet but uh, they are looking into assisted living. So what'd you tell him? Well, I told him he needs pretty strong evidence to convince the court, and also said, since I drafted your will, I consider myself your lawyer. He's probably already shopping around, but he'll have to go to another county. You got too many friends around here. <laughs> well, turns out they were all Janet's friends. I just reaped the benefits, <laughs> so. <laughs> I still have all my faculty. But if he actually tries any of this, I'll give you a call, okay? All right, well, you know I'm here if you need anything. Okay. okay. Hey, nope. Want to stay for supper? Um, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Thanks, Coach. Well, snap, Slider. That certainly went sideways. But I can fix this. Don't, don't look at me like that. We'll start fixing it tomorrow. I will. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some parts. How soon can you deliver? Oh, that's great. Uh, oh, I've got a whole list of them. 
parts will be here tomorrow. We'll have her running again by sundown. RJ and the kids are gonna love the pony. <laughs> you gotta let the horses run. Can you hand me that ratchet? You know, you're not much help. Well, I agree. Let's call the kids, even though they're the ones that are driving me crazy. Sorry I missed your call. I'm either in a presentation or helping my distributors. Please leave a message and I'll get right back to you. Promise. Look, just wanted to say hi. See how you're doing. Give your dad a call, sweetie pie. Bye-bye. No, she wouldn't send me straight to voicemail. Let's try Rob. Hi, this is Rob. Your call is important to me, so please leave a message. No, I thought you were worried about me. It'd be nice to hear from my son once in a while. Hope you're doing well. Give me a call. Man, she's good. She smokes everybody here. I always thought girls couldn't skate. She just comes here to show off. Maybe she's looking for someone to skate with her. I was just being friendly. That's all. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's just skate. need to document the things you told me about. I'm sure Mitch has some police reports written up. Would those help? Absolutely. You'll need to have witnesses testify in writing of what things they saw. I just want him safe. Can't you get those things? Well, I didn't want to charge you for something you could do yourself. Let's just get this done the easiest and fastest way possible, please. Okay. okay. We'll be in touch as soon as everything's ready. Thank you. You know, I know this is kind of difficult. If you need some time to discuss this, by all means. Do you really think that we should do this? I don't think mom would want us to. Maybe if we, we just tell him that we don't think he should be alone, then. Can you take him? No, but if we talk to him, oh, then. Oh, come on. You know how stubborn he is? Once the courts declare him incompetent, we can find him a place where they'll make sure he doesn't wander off anymore. None of his ifs, ands, or buts. There's got to be a way we can protect him without taking him to court. I don't... I know. I know it's not ideal. But if you had seen Mom laying there, he couldn't even take care of her. How's he supposed to take care of himself? Now he's got no wife, no team, no fishing buddies, no one left to care about. It's a lost cause. This is what's best for him. Coach. Oh, hey, Seeds. I just want to leave these on your Porsche. Looks like you ordered some parts here. It's a nice project. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, thanks for bringing them around back. Just lay them right over there. Is this a uh, 71 or 72? Uh, not too far off. 69. Oh, no. Are you restoring this whole thing? Uh, no, I kind of like to keep it originally, you know, with all its blemishes. And just kind of like me, you know. Oh. Take me as I am. Wouldn't have it any other way. How long have you had this bad boy? 
Oh, I got this when I was going away to school to play ball. And then Rob and I were going to fix it up when he was in high school so he could drive it. But you know how time flies. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least you can get it up and run it again now. Yeah, nothing but time now, Seeds. You know, I got to hit some other deliveries. It was good seeing you, Coach. Yeah. Keep your eye on the ball, Seeds. <laughs> nice seeing you, too. Well, hello. It's been a few weeks since you've been home for dinner. I may have to introduce you to the table. <laughs> Two jobs are better than one. Mm-hmm. And that's why you get your favorite pie tonight. You're gonna need the calories, because I... You okay? What's wrong? Oh, sorry. The pie looks great. We're putting Coach in an assisted living. Why? What happened? I have to take him to court. I have to have him declared incompetent. Julie and I found this Salt Lake lawyer, and there's all this paperwork. Well, are you sure there isn't a better way? What else can we do? He keeps getting lost. Like he was looking for his car way out in the middle of the country road. It was in his driveway. Ever since Mom's died, he's just gone senile. What are you talking about? Grandpa's not crazy. Hey, buddy, um, I didn't say that. We're just, <clears throat> can you just give us a few minutes? We're, this isn't really something that you need to. Yes, it is. He's my grandpa. I know he is, buddy, but he's having some memory problems. This is just something that happens when you get old. It's okay, sweetheart. Your dad's just trying to help grandpa, that's all. My grandpa's not crazy. You can't take him. We haven't seen him in three days because you have his car in our garage. Three days? What are you talking about? We haven't seen grandpa in weeks. What have you been doing with Gramps, huh? What have you been up to? Where are you going? Anywhere but here. Can you get your butt back here right now? I'm good. It's okay. Give him a little time. Sorry. I know, I just... I sounded just like my dad, didn't I? I told myself I'd never, never do that as a kid. Looks like you've been practicing. yet? You know what an ollie is? <laughs> no, nah, I've just heard skaters talking about it. I mean, maybe someday you'll get it and show me. Well, I'm trying, but don't hold your breath. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened in there. I'm just worried something might happen to Grandpa if we don't help him, you know? I miss Grandma. Me too. Me too. Grandpa? Listen, guys, I got socks older than you, and I've had Sally even longer. Seriously? How come I never saw her? Ah, uh, she's been buried in the garage for years. I just can't believe my grandpa has such a cool car. I thought you forgot about us. <laughs> what? No way. This, my other car's just been uh, missing in action, MIA, so. But, but I would never miss you guys skating fireworks on the 4th of July. My dad says that you're crazy or something, that you're incompatible. Don't worry about this, guys. My dad wants to put you in some kind of old folks' home for all the steriles. He said that. Yeah, but I don't want them to take you away. I need you. I've been practicing. 
You want to see? No, <laughs> you bet. Let me get my camera. Whenever you're ready, show me what you got. says to ask, what's your name? I don't know. How many fingers do you see? I don't know. Oh, Grandpa, it's RJ. Don't you know anything? Who's on first? What? <laughs> no, 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 what's on second? <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> oh, snap, I messed up your video. You messed it up with your horrible acting. <laughs> Just sit tight, Coach. Flash is on his way. I'm sorry, Grams. I tried to. I, I... Hey, it's a skate park. You had the right of way, okay? It wasn't your fault. I got right in your way. Call me crazy. Gramps, you're not crazy. Don't say that. Oh, sorry to cause you guys all this trouble. Who can tell me what happened? It, it was my fault. I ran into him, and he hit his head, and uh, we thought he was dead. It looks like you got a nice hematoma, Coach, but I think you're gonna be all right. A hema what? A goose egg. It'll go down with some ice on it. Then I'm totally fine. Just let me, help me up here. Hold, hold on, Coach. I need to check a few things first. How do you feel? Well, except for this bump on my head, I'm fine. You see any stars? No. Uh, any ringing in the ears, dizziness, nausea? No, really, I'm fine. Yeah, I really am. Help me up. I'm glad you're alive. Well, that's one thing we've got in common. All right, then, I'm gonna go now. I'll come back to check up on you later, okay, Coach? Stop by any time, Flash. Jake, Scab, I wanna thank you two for teaching our dude this summer. He's gotten so much better thanks to you two. Hey, let me see that board. One was reported missing earlier this week. This is my board. I didn't steal it, I swear. Well, let me see it. it. Sort of matches the description of one that was reported stolen. Thanks. Uh, these trucks look a little loose. Well, it's definitely not my board that I've been missing. You can keep it. Thanks. I don't know how you managed to get Coach to hang around here. He never even let us look at a skateboard back in the day. Bad apples and worse injuries, that's what boards are for. <laughs> right, Coach? Everyone and everything changes with time, bitch. <laughs> Dad! Oh. Oh. Well, guess who's coming to dinner? We're not here for dinner, Coach. What the hell's going on? Now you're getting knocked out trying to skateboard? Have you totally lost your mind? <laughs> what do you think? I finally got her running after all these years. Hey, I know we were gonna fix that when you were in high school and let you drive it, but... Don't ignore the question, Dad. What were you thinking? Someone your age on a skateboard. No, 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 sweetie. I was watching. I wasn't rolling. I was taking a video of uh, w one of the kids. I just happened to Give step Give me the out. keys. Keys to the car. You already stole my car, remember? The keys to this car. No, this this is my Mustang. This. Okay, all right, Dad, Dad. First you get lost, and and then you're 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 trying to show off like a kid on a skateboard. <laughs> we're trying to protect you. Can't you see that we're doing this because we love you? Yeah, Rob, seriously, no. I, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. No, you're not. You just don't realize it. If we weren't here to protect you, you would get yourself killed. Dad, just trust us. Everything is gonna be okay. All right, I need to go get my girls. You please be careful. I love you, Dad.
Where's Sally? No <laughs> way. This is my new mode of transportation. Thanks to your dad. Why won't he just leave us alone? <laughs> hey, kiddo, don't worry about it. He thinks he's doing the right thing. He always thinks he's doing the right thing, so he never listens to anyone. Well, hey, come on. We came here to have fun, right? Yeah, but if they put you away, I'll never get to see you again. Whoa, hey, chill. Come on. He's got no reason to do that. Grandpa, you're driving a lawnmower on the street. Yeah, well, you're riding a board in a bowl. Life's crazy. Come on, we came here to have fun. Let's have some fun, all right? Let's go. Oh, hey, 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 hey. who wants a popsicle? Yeah, hey. hey. Come yeah, come on. Cramps is so Ooh. cool. Yeah, he is. Oh, shit. You all right? I'm all right. Are you sure? It's fine. It's nothing. He's hurting. Has he had a big wipeout recently? Not that I know of. You keep an eye on him, okay? When I think of all the shit, I, I mean crap, he has to deal with at home. I try to help him, but I don't know. Everybody needs a friend like you, pal, so I, I don't want to be driving this on the street after dark, so I gotta get going, all right? You go out there and have some fun. Love you, Grandpa. You too. Let me guess. This one's a little weird. All right. I'm driving home from work. I'm at an intersection, and your old man cruises through and down the road. What? I have both of his car keys. Forgot the keys to his lawnmower. Seriously? Nothing went wrong. He drove to the park and then went home without any issues. I mean, it's not exactly street legal, but... OK, so first I take his keys, then he brings out the old Mustang, and now this? Maybe if you gave him his car back, things would work out. No. You know, when I talk with him, he seemed perfectly normal. Normal people don't drive their lawnmowers down to the skate park, Mitch. <sighs> Something bad could happen to them. You know what happens to some people when they get old and live on their own for too long? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he could live with you guys until things settle down. Yeah, right. He hardly let me live under his roof long enough for me to graduate, remember? Oh, I'll keep an eye on him. Thanks, man. Appreciate you looking out. Take care. Hello? Hey, Aaron, it's Ross. Hello, Mr. Jensen. Good news. The judge agreed to an expedited hearing due to health and safety concerns. Great. Well, here's one to add to the list. Mitch just spotted him riding his lawnmower all the way back home from the skate park. It's like miles away. <laughs> really? Yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. I'm sure the judge will recognize the situation. Your father will receive a hearing notice tomorrow. Thank you so much for your help. You bet. Take care. Hey, it's good to see you too, Coach. Hey, I'm doing Why are you so dressed up? Oh, I'm a county constable. Oh. Hey, Coach, I wish I didn't have to do this, but I'm here to deliver your notification, and this just shows that I delivered it. I'm sorry. Well, hey, I understand you're just doing your job, right? Yeah. Hey, do you want to come in and have a snack? You know, I wish I could, but I need to get to an appointment. Hey, I hope it works out for you. You take care. See you, coach. I'll give you three guesses what this is, and the first two don't count. Oh, snap slider. He really is going to go through with this. We'll fix his wagon. 
in a good way. Oh, if only we could start all over again. Who's gonna keep me from making a fool out of myself? Hey, oh, hey, coach. I think I'm gonna need your help, D. A hearing notification arrived today. Okay, I'll stop by and pick it up on my way home. You can explain everything when I get there. I really do think they want to put me away. No dog, no fishing, no car. Just a room with four walls, no way out. Don't worry, coach. We'll figure something out for you. I hope so, because I got three strikes and no more bad. Hey, like you used to tell me, just relax, eye on the ball, right? I'll be there soon. Why can't I try again? Get it right this time. all day long, busting my ass. Mm. But you weren't even here to say thank you. Mm. Mm. So your work's not done yet. Just tell me what it is and I'll do it, please. Mm. Too late. You're worthless. Hey! You little good for nothing. Get him out of here. Get him in his room. Get him in. Stay in here. Tomorrow. Maybe. Are you really there? There's so many stars in the sky. You, you gotta be up there somewhere. Can you hear me? Can you help me? Please. I just want a home. Please. I... I just want a real home. Just to be clear, we all live in a small town, so we all know each other. I make my decisions based on the facts. A hearing is not like a trial. Each of you will give your side of the story along with whatever evidence you have. Any questions? Hey, RJ, do you and your friends want to come to court with me and see if we can help your grandfather? What can we do? No one's gonna listen to a bunch of kids anyways. I'm sure the judge would love to hear what you guys have to say. I doubt he wants to hear what I have to say. Well, I'm down for helping Gramps. Yeah, I'll go. Hey guys, we gotta go help Gramps. Yeah, hey, we gotta hurry. We're already late and I don't have enough room for all of you in the car. Okay, we all got our own set of wheels. 
All right, let's go. Please tell us your concerns. It's rather cut and dry, Your Honor. Mr. Jensen got lost in a town that he's lived in all his life. And he, he went wandering on a county road looking for his car. This is not what it looks like. You'll get your chance. Continue. On another occasion, he drove a ride around mower to the park and back home, a distance of quite a few miles. Then apparently he went skateboarding with a group of teenage boys. Rather questionable activity for a man his age. And he fell, hit his head, got a concussion. People fall, lose their cars, they ride their lawnmowers every day of the summer. How does this make Mr. Jensen incompetent? <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna see if I... Your Honor? We've all heard of stories in the news of elderly people wandering off, getting injured, or even dying. Well, Julia and I are just genuinely concerned for his safety and his well-being. Because while well, growing up, you know, he was always out taking care of everybody else and their sons. Their sons. It was mom who took care of me and the rest of us. So how's he supposed to take care of himself now that she's gone? We're just trying to get him in an assisted living so that nothing serious happens to him. Okay. It's your turn, Mr. Jensen. All right. Come on, guys. What is the meaning of this? Jake, what are you doing here? Pardon my late arrival, Your Honor. These are my witnesses. All right, take your seats quickly. If any of you kids misbehave, I will have that officer remove you from this courtroom. Settle down. Dude, don't you want to go help Gramps? My uncle's here. I can't let them find me. Just go help Gramps. You slept here the last night? It wasn't the first time. I'll, I'll be OK. J just go help Gramps. I'm staying. We're friends, remember? That's what friends do. If he finds us, he'll probably kill us both. Julie Stevens, do you have anything to add? I have never seen my dad behave this way. He's more than just forgetful. It's, it's like he's getting Alzheimer's or something. I mean, riding a skateboard at his age, he could have been killed. You have the report from the medic. That's a lie. That's not what happened at all. No one is permitted to interrupt anyone in my courtroom. If it happens again, I will have you removed. Is there anything more? I think it's pretty clear, don't you? Mr. Carmichael? Your Honor, my first witness is Jake Peterson. Maybe they left. No, his truck is still there. They're still looking for me. Gotcha, you little worthless piece of trash! Ugh, stop! You can't do that! Oh, yeah? Looks like I missed one. <laughs> no! He's my friend! Leave him alone! You're the little skater punk he's been running around with? You know what to do. Get him! Ah! Ah!
Let's go! They can't prove nothing. Let's go! Come on! Back to the truck! You guys all right? Yeah, thanks, Dakota. Oh, shoot, dude, you're bleeding. Here, let's get some pressure on that. Let's go. Jake, was Mr. Jensen riding a skateboard when he injured himself? No, sir. I've never seen him on a, on a skateboard. He's, and he's at the skate park all the time. He just shoots videos for us. OK, he's not crazy. They're the ones who are crazy. We're just liars. You will not judge anyone in this courtroom. Do you understand? Answer me. I understand, Your Honor. What do you know about Mr. Jensen getting lost? He comes to the skate park because he's tired of just sitting at his house all alone. They're just ignoring him. And what does that have to do with him getting lost? Everyone gets it but you guys. Everyone at the skate park has this figured out. If he, even RJ, he knows, ask him. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but he, your son is friends with all of us, even though you keep telling him we're no good. Cramps never judges us. He just helps us. The skate park is the only place where a lot of us feel like we have real friends. And Gramps has helped all of us. OK, thanks, Jake. But how did he get lost? Don't you get it? He's a poser. He's like perfectly normal at the skate park. And then he says he has some plan to take care of. And then he goes and stages it all. You guys got played. You know what they say about assuming. It makes it. Parents just assume they know everything. They never stop to ask questions. They just assume. Gramps is one of us. He just wants to be cared for. It's not that much to ask. Okay, Coach, I guess we're calling you Gramps these days. So, Gramps, what do you have to say for yourself? It's a pretty amazing son you got there. You, you got me. I confess. But wh what was I supposed to do? It wasn't the best game plan I ever had in my life, but I never thought you'd try to put me away. I just wanted you to come over once in a while. Stay. I didn't mean to get us in all this mess. Well, if I didn't, I, I w wouldn't have met all these great kids. And, and, or even better skaters. Not as good as my son. Not, no offense, guys. I don't really know. I can't go back and find out. But he was the best ball player I ever. All I ever wanted was to coach him with the rest of the boys, but... If he was half a good skater, he was a ball player. At least his mother got to see for herself before, before it was too late. Rob? Julie, are you really sure you want to go on with this? I just want my dad to forgive me. So here is the official part. Mr. Jensen, it is my ruling that you are fully competent, so they cannot force you into assisted living. But in light of your own confession, I am going to make you pay all of the court fees as well as the legal fees for Rob and Julie. And you gotta have your cars back. Yeah, yeah, we, we did, did it, it Grant. Yeah. 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 
I've had this all wrong. Yeah? I was just trying to protect you, son. I'm gonna try not to screw it up. I make mistakes, too. It's okay. I'm not perfect, either. How do you do it, Coach? First baseball, now skaters. What's your secret? You just have to listen to them. See the world through their eyes. And then see them through God's eyes. Archie, what happened? He, his uncle and cousins beat us up. We took our board. But Dakota came and saved us. Scab, don't worry. I'll fix things up. You've got quite a shiner there, buddy. Yeah. Would have been a lot worse if Dakota wasn't there. Just relax. Can I ask you a few questions, Dakota? I got a file report. Sorry, I couldn't be here. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You're, you're safe now. Coach, Scott will need a safe house from his uncle. Yeah. What do you say? You want to come over and stay at my house for a while? Can I drive Sally? <laughs> <laughs> Not till you get your license. <laughs> RJ, you want to come over too? If it's sorry with your dad. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Dad? Can I stay for dinner, too? Anytime. Can I drive Sally? If you want to keep the keys, you can. Will you teach me how to fish? I'm sorry it's taken so long. I'm sorry it's taken so long. Some wounds take more time to heal than others. Let's go get you some stitches. Coach, you coming with? Oh, of, of course. Uh, see you and RJ back at the house later? <sighs> yes, sir. It's Gather. I'll go pay a visit to your uncle. <sighs> well, looks like you and Gramps have some new friends. Yeah. I like them. OK. Where's my dad, and what have you aliens done with him? <laughs> you got me. I'm just an <laughs> alien poser. Wow, brave hero comes to the rescue. Anybody would have done the same. Ooh, something <laughs> smells good. Who wants bacon cheeseburgers? Oh. <laughs> Dad, maybe you should think about being a foster parent. I'm cutting back on my meetings. I need more time with my girls. So, get ready. We're gonna be around a lot. <laughs> well, you gotta take the time, or the time will take you. Yeah. Hey, RJ, why don't you show Scab the bedroom? I don't know. Don't look at me. We like to call it home. Wait. Your name is Theodore? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Let's go eat. Me up in a minute. This used to be Rob's room. You like it? Yeah. You like slider? Yeah. How'd you like to make it your home? Let's go get some bacon cheeseburgers. Kids will never know how good you were if you don't tell them. <laughs> Why would I tell them when I can just show them? <laughs> Where's your board, bro? See ya.
and turn your ankle and slide up. Cool. Good. Turn the slide up. Up the board. Your dad shreds. Yeah, I didn't even know he could skate. You really are an alien in my dad's skin. <laughs> even better than I imagined. That does so good. RJ, can you skate like me and stay out of trouble? Well, I can stay out of trouble. I'll coach you through the rest. By the way, I put in my two weeks notice at my night job. <laughs> All right, who's next? Let's roll. I'll we'll go. make it work. Right. Oh, hey, Teddy. <laughs> you bet. I'll be there. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you later, son. Bye-bye. Get it right from the start this time, darling. Yeah. 